Hi and welcome to website design. In today's lesson we're going to learn how to create a database table and also how to display the content of that table onto our web page. So let's go to our web server side. Okay, in our manage website we will go to our database manager and I will then go and manage this database in PHP my admin so I'm going to open PHP my admin and then you will see here is a few things that we can go and do so first of all what I'm going to do is we need to go and create a table inside this database here okay so this is our database demo website database okay so we need to go and create a um, table so let's see how we will do this so let's go through all the settings in php my admin this is our database general our server connection appearance and so forth Okay, here you have a SQL. Okay, here you can drop your own SQL um, queries. Okay, if we click on status, this is your status of your web um, database. You can export your complete database. Okay, you can import also data into your database. Here's some settings, basic settings for your database, uh, manage settings feature, main, you've got variables in your database, okay, these are some of those charge sets, okay, engines, okay, as you can see there's a few stuff going on there, but we're not going to go into deep with all these um, stuff. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to say, we are going to create a new table for our database. Okay, so we click on um, our demo website database. It will give us a create table. And this table I will call packages. And there will be four columns. So the first column is going to be our ID second our name third our price of our package and fourth will be a picture of our package okay so i will go and create that table i will say go it's going to load now now it's going to ask me each column what will be each column so first of all i'm going to say id id is going to be an int okay the next one is going to be my name uh, price and then picture okay so name price picture name is going to be text price is going to be a let's make it a float and picture will be a and this is a long blob so then it can take a very large picture okay so we've got a picture as a long blob type price as a float name text id as an integer okay uh, we're not going to set any other things here um, let's quickly just check uh, attributes no i can make this as our primary key okay primary key oh let's leave the primary key for another day okay i'm just going to leave it blank okay so let's save this okay so now we've got our table with um, our table is called packages and we can go and look at the structure the structure is this id is in name text price float pictures long blob and then what we can go and do is we can go and insert okay 
insert a um, row into our table. Okay, so how will we do this? So let's quickly check indexes, partitions, no. So I'm going to add a, not a column. Just want to check, insert. I'm going to click on insert there. Okay, and great, this is what I want. So first of all, my ID is going to be one, the name. And now what I have here is, I've got three pictures here on the side. Panda, Mario, and Angry Birds. Okay, so I'm going to add, the first one is going to call, let's call him Kung Fu Panda. Okay, the price of Kung Fu Panda package will be 10.5. I'm going to go and select that Panda picture. I'm going to open this and I'm going to load it. Okay, I'm going to do one by one so that you can see how we will do this. Okay, so Kung Fu Panda was loaded. Okay, it's still just loading quickly everything. There we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on insert again and I'm going to add another one. So this one is going to be value two and it's going to be called Super Mario Package. It's going to be 25.9 and then I'm going to select the Mario Package and insert. Okay, so it's going through the insert now. And this is actually the SQL statement to insert that one um, line. I'm going to do another insert. And the last one is going to be three. And that one is going to be angry birds okay and angry birds is going to be 99.2 i'm going to choose angry birds okay and go okay so we've added now our angry birds into our database And let's go and look at browse. Okay, as you can see, there's our table. One, two, three, Kung Fu Panda, Super Mario, Angry Birds, price, and the blobs are there. Okay, so we have now populated our table. Now we will go and display our table. And how will, how will we do this? So I'm going to minimize this. And inside my demo website lib, um, file, I'm going to go to packages and I'm going to load packages. Now this is my package um, body and I'm going to just do this. And what I will do now is remember now that in the index.php, the connection to the database was already established. So when the user clicks on the packages um, nav bar button, we can then actually access our database in our body here by using PHP. Okay, so what I will do is I'm going to say package will be of heading two. Oops. And then I will create a table. But before I go into create that table, um, I'm going to quickly go and just do an inline style of my um, table, just to make the table a little bit nicer. So I'm going to quickly go and do an inline style. Oops. 
and I'm going to say table. Um, I'm going to make the font family um, sans serif. Um, I'm going to say border collapse and it's going to be collapse and the width I'm going to make it 100% otherwise this um, tables will be very small and not very nice then I'm going to edit the rows in the s cells and what I'm going to say here is the border is going to be one pixel wide it's going to be solid and I'm going to make it uh, one two one two one two and text align oops text align I'm going to say the text must be aligned to left and I'm going to add a padding padding of 8 pixels ok and the row um, I'm going to say each nth child every even um, row I'm going to give a background color of this gray ok that's it so that's my styling back to my packages um, then I'm going to create the actual table here and this table will be now a table and there's going to be um, rows okay and I'm gonna add another row here uh, no not yet okay and then I'm going to add a column here and it's gonna be name the next one is going to be uh, the price and the next one oops is going to be picture okay now we've got a table with name price picture and what we will do now is i'm going to do now inline php coding here oops question mark php and you always need to be careful when you do this because remember that this php coding is still on the server it's not part of your um, of your uh, HTML code that will run on the browser this will run on the server remember that so what I will do is I'm going to create a variable called SQL and I'm going to make an SQL request and go and look at all the SQL requests um, I'm just going to do a select select all from packages Okay, and this will mean give me all the rows in the package table. Okay, and then I'm going to create a result um, result variable, and what I'm going to do is that connection that we created. Oops, connection. I'm going to do a query, and I'm going to send that SQL statement okay so we've got a result okay and all the stuff will be stored inside that result okay if there's no rows if there's rows and then and so forth what we need to do then is I need to go and check if there is something actually inside result okay and I'm going to say the number of rows is bigger than zero. If it's bigger than zero, 
we can go and display everything in a nice table else what I'm going to do is I'm going to echo, oops, echo that there is uh, I'm going to make a row inside the table. Okay, and I'm just going to close that tag and close that row tag. And then what I'm going to say in that row is there's no data available. Great. So that will be my echo in the else case. Then after um, I've established that there is rows in the result, meaning that there is data that was returned, I can go and use a while loop to traverse through each row. And what I will do now is I will say row is equal to result and I'm going to say fetch and what this will do is it will go and fetch a row for me and store it inside row and then that cursor will um, go on uh, until I hit the end okay so in this while statement, I will then do a echo and now I'm going to build um, row for row, row by row inside um, this echo statement. Okay, so there's my um, open row, end row. And then after that, I'm going to then create a, a cell, TD, oops, TD, and I'm just going to add that. And what I will do is I will say row, and then in brackets, name. and then add a closing cell. Okay, again, do this. I'm gonna copy and paste this whole idea here. Okay, and this will be the price. And then we need to do this again for the picture, but the picture will be different. So I'm gonna put this line on its own. Okay. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to create a, a image tag, IMG, and I'm going to say source is equal to data and then image jpeg okay semicolon base 64 comma close the bracket okay then i'm going to add base 64 encode and then i'm going to actually say row oops row brackets then picture okay picture so i've got that and then i'm going to add the inverted commas to close that inverted comma there and then i'm going to say the height of that picture is equal to oops 42 and uh, sorry and the width is also going to be 
42. Okay, and I'm going to close the picture tag and then add. Okay, so I know it's a long statement there. And that's it. That's how we would do this. Okay, I'm going to save this. And then we're going to go back to our um, file there. So what I'm going to do is back to our website here. Yeah. Not manage database, but file manager. I'm going to upload files. Okay, and we just need to wait quickly for it to just want to minimize this and get it out of the way. Okay, so inside our um, includes, we're going to go and delete the packages and we're going to go and delete the header because we changed now both of those. Okay, and then I'm going to go and then include the packages HTML and upload the package HTML and then also the header HTML. Okay. So header, I'm just going to check it's there. Save and close. Packages, it's there. Save and close. Okay. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to save this. Okay. And then I'm going to say quick actions view site. Okay. So we connected successfully. We can take that away. And then if we click on packages, there you can see Kung Fu Panda with the picture, Super Mario with the picture, Angry Birds with the picture. And then if we want to quickly go and just take away that connection there. So index.php, what we can go and do is we can go and um, comment that out, save and close. Okay, and if we refresh that message will be gone there. And there's our packages, Kung Fu Panda 10.5 and so forth. And that's how we create our table um, in our database with PHP my admin and also using PHP and SQL statements to retrieve data from our database and display it inside our um, HTML page. That's all from me. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.